iCarly once said, every side could be the brightest side of every situation. You may have already heard this before as everything has a silver lining or pay attention to the bright side. Be an optimist. Well, those are some ideologies that I strongly support. In fact, they are the same beliefs that have structured my goal in life. And I think it's a goal that we all share, but perhaps have just not thought of it this way. Making more things good. What if everything in your life could be good? You know, you experience gratitude and love more, and even if something like a fear or a doubt pops up, you could still see the bright side of that. It sounds like people's idea of heaven to me. A paradise surrounded by everything you love. Personally, that is my life goal. So how do I take action to acquire that goal? Well, making more things good is dependent on your perception of reality. How you see things. Oh, that's a positive. That's negative. That's good. That's bad. All of those ideas are things that we have created through our past experience. And think about times when you were younger, when you couldn't have as full of an understanding of a situation as you do now. Moments of misunderstandings in your life become fears and boundaries, all because something made you feel a way that you didn't like. So you protect yourself from those things, those feelings, those experiences by saying, no, I'm not gonna do that anymore. No, I'm gonna stay away from that. I'm kinda scared of that, I should go the other way. Well, that was then, and this is now. You are smarter, you are wiser, you are more capable of doing the things that your younger self could not. But the greatest skill you have now is the ability to change your perception of something. It's as if an aspect of life could be represented by this ball. Using your hindsight, you're observing a traumatic experience of yours, for example. And as you investigate it, it makes you feel those familiar ways you didn't want to feel. But after a little bit more research or self-discovery, you find that bright side. You start to see how your life wouldn't be the way it is if this hadn't happened. So instead of looking back at this memory in fear or calling it a trauma, you can give gratitude and love and appreciation to these once very tough and scary moments in our lives and thank it for how it has changed your life. Now this was just one example of a traumatic experience turned to a more positive light. Our perception changed a negative into a positive. There are many ways in which this will happen in the story of your life. You've got different characters in your story, a different environment, different thoughts that are created by your past experiences. But ultimately, if you could, would you not make it better? In other words, would you get rid of that fear if you could? As you start investigating your life in this way, aware of your ability to change your perception of the things around you, more stuff starts becoming good. Life starts becoming good. You are reminded of love and gratitude with everything you see around you. And it hits you out of nowhere. It's like, oh my God, I've done all of that work and now life is awesome. I allow myself to do more things. I allow more opportunity to enter into my life because I'm not afraid of something bad happening because I know that I can look at that and find the bright side. Imagine how close our connections with other people would be if we didn't fear the worst from them. If we didn't fear that they would leave us or ghost us or abandon us or hurt us. If we instead only based our boundaries off of what we want and what we do not want. Don't forget the question of what do I want is a question that you can ask any single moment of your life. And the more that you start to listen to that, the quicker things in your life become good, catered to your specific desires. Now there's a key point to this that we cannot neglect, and it is understanding. You see, all of those ideas of fear, or this is bad, or this is good, a lot of those beliefs were passed down onto us. And whoever passed those beliefs down onto us, their experience or their people in their life pass that information down onto them. It's like passing down fears onto the next. 
out of love because you are trying to protect the next generation from experiencing all of the hardships that you felt. However, with this direction of making more good and asking yourself what you want in every moment, you begin to create your own internal compass. You discover your own morals. You discover your own beliefs. And because your beliefs are your own, your life becomes your own. With understanding and being able to put ourselves in the shoes of others, we begin to see a trend. We're all just trying to figure this stuff out. And sometimes walking blind through life can be very tough. But that is why our direction is so important. Some people think being good is an admirable trait. So would you not want your moral compass to point you in the direction of what good is to you? Because maybe it's a definition of good that a lot of people agree upon. And you start making good connections, creating good experiences that turn into good memories. And all because you opened the doors of opportunity up to the bright side, up to the potential of things being good. Because you recognize that you are more prepared to handle the feelings of the past than you were then. You are wiser, smarter, and more capable. So I highly encourage some introspection, some time outside of listening to this video for you to really ask these questions and observe what I'm talking about in your life so that you can see where you want to go. Finding your direction is like finding your place in this life. And once you fit into your place in life, every other aspect of life that you want fits in and around you. You become the thing that you wanted to be. You get the things that you wanted to get. And I guarantee you, these are not empty promises. These are things that I have seen in my life and that I know you will see in yours. Because through these practices, I've been able to see myself in others, going through similar struggles with a different story told about it. And through that, I relate and empathize and sympathize with others. So, you, on the other side of this camera, I'm very grateful that you listened to this video. And I'm excited to see what comes next in your life. So make sure to stick around, and I'll see you later. Peace out.